According to UN Habitat Report 2014, 54% of the urban population around the globe live in the slums. In Africa, 61.7% of the urban population live in the slums, where majority are between the age of 15 and 24. Kenya is one of the countries where slum population is growing rapidly. According to UNICEF, despite the steady growth of Kenya's economy, more than half of its population lives below the poverty line that is on less than one US dollar per day. Kenya's capital city Nairobi is home to over 4 million residents, majority of whom endure life of extreme poverty in the city's slums. Not many youth residing in Nairobi slums can attend higher learning institutions. The few schools serving this disadvantaged community are beyond the financial means of most families. Though Kenya has free primary education, not every child is able to complete basic education. Many children from these households run away from home due to poverty and other family issues and end up in the streets. In the streets, they engage in behaviors like glue sniffing, drug abuse, begging, stealing, among others. Non-governmental organizations and church congregations have started centers to cater for street children. One of the church congregations that has a center for street children is the Salesians of Don Bosco. Salesians of Don Bosco is a Catholic religious congregation that was founded in Turin, Italy. It is present in 132 countries. It focuses in helping the needy young people in the society. Here in Kenya, they have 11 communities. Following the footsteps of their founder, the Salations started a project to cater for street boys in Nairobi. The street boys' work is a special charism was given to Don Bosco. And all those who follow him, those who are his children, we are also inherited the same love and the charism of Don Bosco. The work for the street children was started in 1990 by brothers Joe Prabhu and Babu Augustine in conjunction with Undugu Society of Kenya, the pioneer organization working for the street children. As I walked down the streets of Nairobi, I couldn't find the street children they were talking about. I had an opportunity to meet for the role of Indigo Society. Interacted with him and came to know where do these children live? In the backyards of Nairobi. We walked to each of those street corners. We visited their little alleys. We visited the slums where they dwell. It was a great exposure to the real, real situation of street and working children in Nairobi. Way back in the year 1989 and the year 1990, Father Grohl introduced me to one of the staff members, social workers, by name Mr. Freddy. Freddy took me to Kariwa, a little shanty location, slum. It was an amazing experience over there. Little houses and huts, but people with the large hearts. That was my first encounter close encounter with the street children. Ever since we became friends, we became brothers to each other. That was the beginning of Bosco Boys project in Kariwa. I shared the experiences with Father Luciano Oderico, the rector of Don Bosco Utume community. I kindly requested him to our love 
the brothers to continue with their weekend apostolate in Kariwa. He was indeed happy about it and he permitted Brother Babu Augustin and myself to continue with the weekend apostolate. In 1991, the boys expressed the desire to study. We put up our shed, uh, then started giving classes to the children and we started uh, teaching the, what you call some subjects like um, mathematics, English to the children. But we are not divided into two classes. Then also we got a girl from the slum to teach them. Then two past peoples also joined. But we are paying down the past peoples. But in those days we were just giving only lunch for those who come for class. And after lunch they were free. Free means they go back to the street and even. Then we also tried to experiment them by sending them to the Mukuru Primary School run by a certain sister Mary. We also tried to teach them a trade like carpentry and so on. The late Brother Charyan was in Boys Town. Gave us some tools so that we can also try to teach something to these children in Kariwa in the shed we were trying to teach. As years went by, the number increased and the Salesians had to find another place for their accommodation. The four little children who started with us, the number multiplied into eight and sixteen and soon it became forty-four. Today, Kariwa serves as a nursery school for the children in Kariwa slum. From 1997, uh, this Kariwa was turned to be as a nursery school up to now. In 1994, the Salesians began to accommodate the boys in a permanent place in Langata. As we continue this work, Father Stephen Chamblangulil, then provincial of East African province, offered us a, a little home a plot belonging to Don Bosco Utume. We created a Savio Center. Children who could not be rehabilitated, who cannot be resettled, the problematic children were taken there and given a personal attention, counseling. They were placed in the schools. There was a beautiful transformation in children. Brother Matthew Ayla was also appointed to be the coordinator of Savio Center. He stayed with the children. He spent time with them. Today, Bosco Boys Langata serves as the reception and rehabilitation center. New boys who join the project are first sent here for rehabilitation and after that, they are either reintegrated back to their families or are taken to the boarding primary school, Bosco Boys, Kuwinda. In 1995, His Eminence, Maurice Cardinal Otunga, donated a 13-acre plot to the Salesians at Kuwinda to build a center for the street children in Nairobi. He said, I need the Salesians to work for the poorest of the poor, and for the Raj turned to me, and said, here is this man working with the street children. And immediately he said, I have a plot close to Boys Town in Karen, place called Kuwinda, and I want the solutions to do something about it. The Rotary Club of Westlands under the leadership of Mr. Bimal Kantaria joined the Salesians of Don Bosco to form a trust and to collect funds for the construction of the new center at Kuwinda. The Don Bosco Savio Trust was set up and many generous people and organizations came forward to join hands with a trust in the construction of the new center. The Center for Street Children Bosco Boys is 15 kilometers from Nairobi city center and is located at Kuwinda in Langata, 
current area. The foundation stone of Bosco Boys Kuwinda was blessed by His Holiness Pope John Paul II on September 19, 1995 during his apostolic visit to Kenya and was laid by His Eminence Maurice Cardinal Otunga on November 23, 1997. John Peter, as well as a priest then, he to this community. When I think about the street boys and uh, I am I am emotionally I feel very close to them because uh, I feel it is uh, God gave me that grace to have special love for these really poor boys and from 1992 till 2000 I was here in Nairobi. Every weekend even on Wednesday I used to go to meet these boys in Kariwa. Also Father Henry Jushik, who had returned from Uganda. So three of us formed a community from 1997. In 1998, we already started keeping children. And our volunteers from Holland, uh, Mr. Paul Snuren and Paul, uh, his wife, Cora, they were, begin, they were staying at Huwinda with around 30 student, children. The center was officially blessed on May 20, 2001 by His Grace Giovanni Tonucci, the Apostolic Nuncio to Kenya and officially opened by Mr. Steve Brown and Mr. Wayne Kushik on May 27th, same year. Bosco Boys Project assists those boys who are between the age of 6 and 18 who express the desire to better their life through education. Several activities are run here. There is the Don Bosco Primary School with a boarding facility for the boys. It is also open to children, both girls and boys, from the surrounding areas like Kuwinda Slum. The center is a home and a school for children based on the educational system of Don Bosco called the preventive system. Our boarding program is tailored towards keeping the youngsters constantly active, proactive and constantly moving from activity to activity. The Salations ran a school feeding program which was introduced in 2008 where the children are provided with breakfast and lunch. This has been a great support in the learning process since many of the children come to school without having a meal and this has helped to reduce school dropout and absenteeism. Those who complete their primary education are assisted in continuing with secondary education or are advised to choose technical training at the Don Bosco Technical Institute. The boys who show interest in technical training are given training in carpentry, welding, screen printing, tailoring and sculpture making. Those who complete this training are awarded with a certificate and are recommended to proceed with their formal vocational training in other Don Bosco institutes. Professional counseling is provided to these children to help them access their families and the society and to overcome the difficulties they face in their life. A good number of the boys are now reunited with their families. Psychologists and trained counsellors have offered their services very often free of charge in order to help these young people. The children engage in extracurricular activities like roller skating, music and cultural dances, brass band, playing soccer, volleyball, basketball, athletics, scouting, acrobats and party games. The brass band acrobats and choir are able to give professional shows. In the past six years, the children always brought home a trophy in the Kenya National Music Festivals. In sports too, they excel. 
These activities help them grow spiritually, physically, intellectually, or even morally. We help them to grow in their spiritual way of life by the daily practices of piety, uh, meeting Jesus from morning till evening through various activities, being classworks, uh, sports, recreation. The center has a farm where the boys are able to learn farming activities. They rear poultry, cows, sheep, pigs and rabbits. The eggs and the chicken are sold to support the project. The center also serves as the formation house for the pre-novices, that is, young men aspiring to become Salesians. These young men are involved in social service activities in the school and Kuwinda slum. Bosco boys closely network with different organizations which deal with children at risk. These uh, clubs and non-profitable organizations have also opened their doors of their dispensaries. The tremendous support from the Salesian superiors, Salesians from other communities and benefactors has made this project a success. I must say the man who really gave me the encouragement was Father Liptak. He was our rector. Then of course Father Steve, I mean Father Tail was a provincial. I mean like all these things. Then a community I must really grateful was Don Bosco Voice Town. And the entire community was so Tony D'Souza, uh, who was also the provincial. Then late Brother Cheria. Then Father Raji later on. Then also Aparigi later on. Uh, for uh, taking our boys on Saturday, for giving bath there <laughs> in those philosophy, and Father Kocholi, he was taking catechism for our children in Kariwa. Then uh, the man who really touched me at those days was our late Musa He came in in the year 1997, you know. So he helped us to put up three dormitories actually. Then the basket to our ground. That was the thing we put up immediately, you know, in 1998. And then, then from there, Musa never looked back. So he unfortunately passed away in 2003. Still, he is continuing to support us through the Sterling Trust he founded. Then another person who really impressed me was uh, Mr. Bimal Kandaria. He was very young those days and even now. I know that he is still supporting. Today, through the project, over 1,200 boys and girls have benefited from primary, secondary and university educations. Bosco Boys has helped so many youngsters to settle down, to earn a good living, to live a life of dignity and respect. And it continues to do so. Some of them doing excellently well. Some are in Slovakia. My successor, Father Sebastian Charya, did a good job of getting people to sponsor, sending students to Slovakia to do doctorate. There are two students there. Then there are so many other students who are in the university, who have finished university studies. I came in Bosco Boys in the year 2001, where I've been brought up until now that I'm in university. I'm very privileged and now I appreciate the whole community of Bosco Boys to have given me this chance until this far that I have come. I love what I'm doing now. I'm educator to the three children. They are the same like I was. I love being with them. I love carrying them the way the Salesian of Don Bosco did to me. I thank God for the chance of life he gave to me and to give me the good people like Salation of Don Bosco who have been with me all that time. Usaidisi wa Don Bosco ni naona wanasaidia sisi wazazi wanapatia watoto wetu uniforms vitabu Mungu asidi kubariki fathers na walimu 
na wale wote ambao wanatusaidia kwa hii mm, usaidizi wenye tunapata Despite its success Bosco Boys is experiencing a few challenges This uh, project relies totally on benefactors and funding agencies and sponsors so it's a constant uh, struggle to keep in touch to ask to seek funding it is never too sure of the funds that we get and so even our development uh, dreams and ideas have to go in accordance with the funding that might be available for us and so therefore um, this is one of our major challenges the biggest challenge now for the institution is that to get funds to cut for that need of education and integration of these children to the society another challenge is lack of funds to manage personnel we receive uh, teachers to come and assist in teaching the children because the institution does not have um sufficient fund after this uh, staff staying with us for some time they think of looking for another pasture for the future we feel that uh, at the we need to build a primary school uh, that is kind of away from the boarding setup where we will have a very normal uh, primary school in which our boys can be inserted in uh, so it involves a, a totally new structure nearby where our students can go as kind of day scholars and then come back to the home setup uh, this would give them a clearer focus with regard to their studies if you are there anyone who is involved there love those children and let us be focused you know with our target group the children the selection of don bosco they are doing a tremendous job you know providing everything education you know creating recreating us spiritual wise educational wise you know physical wise and making us better person person who can be relied upon i would like to take this chance to thank all those who supported us you know maybe because so many years 25 years some of them maybe even passed away mm. we like to thank them there so many organizations helped us so many individuals who helped us so many staff who worked so many volunteers who have worked there and also the children even some other students who passed out they are also looking ways and means to assist they have that feeling for bosco boys this one thing that i want to say thank you lord thank you lord for all you've given to